you know you're not right with God and you and you say, oh, this kind. And don't come to me and tell me you need to pray. Because this kind does not go out by prayer alone. This kind. So that's why the phrase, you need to pray about it, sometimes you're not in tune. That person is dealing with a spirit and you're going to need a combination of things to get out of this situation. You're going to need faith. You're going to need solitude, silence, fasting. We gonna, matter of fact, you're going to need prayer partners. We're going to need to do a whole lot of adjustment because you in a, this kind of demonic oppression. A disciple, a Christian's battle is not about people so i should never be focused on getting you because i am biblically and scripturally aware it's not the fight that i'm fighting is not about people it's not about men it's not about women it's not about children it's not about the government people are not what we're fighting against the conflict that you're going to it is a spirit that you're fighting fight the spirit don't focus on what the devil uses because uh, brother, brother Aaron, can you come here now some of you the moment he walked up here you lost focus <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking but you looking at what part of your attention is focused on him now if 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 I use I'm use brother Jolly as, a, as an example if I use brother Jolly as an example if I say brother Jolly you irritating me you're a nuisance somebody said somebody <laughs> then who are you looking at what is Brother Jolly looking at? Me? <laughs> Why, <are> you, <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> so then what you would do, because you know if it was me, then, then you would go to my father to address me. Because if you're gonna, because if you're gonna, uh, don't 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 get in reality. Some of you, no, I'm gonna handle you myself. Now, nah, <laughs> please, please stay with the example. I'm I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. If you were gonna if you were gonna handle me, if you were gonna handle me, you would have to address my father because the moment you get out of your, he gonna catch you. So you say, okay, I'm gonna have to get both. And maybe the one in the front, the, the two, two. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you would know, you, you know what? You would know what to address because anybody that's connected to me, now your eyes are aware. Mm, okay, okay, okay. That's, that's how you would look at the room. Okay, okay, I see what's happening. So this is what the devil knows. If you see it's me, then you're gonna go to your father to come get me. And then your father gonna address everybody that's connected to me. <laughs> Brother Jolly, you're a nuisance to me. You irritate me. I hate you. Now, what is everyone looking at? You're looking at him because you don't see. You don't. <laughs> Sister Jolly said, I see you. <laughs> you only see me if you're spiritually in tune. So you don't even really get mad at him. Because I'm only gonna I'm only gonna say what I'm gonna say, and then that spirit gonna leave. <laughs> and I'm long gone. And when I'm long gone, you're going to come back next Sunday and you're going to try to attack. But I ain't there no more. And he don't even understand. 
You're like, what? I, I, it wasn't even me. You ever hear people say, it wasn't me? Yeah, it was you. <laughs> <laughs> but a disciple knows we don't fight flesh and so if you do something to hurt me, I automatically know that's a spirit. And it's just a one comment. Bloop. And what we do is we tag the person and the devil just has to go around and find an opening with enough people and then he gone. And when he leaves, we stay fighting each other and he laughing and the scripture is saying, it's not flesh and blood. It's a spirit we're fighting. We don't wrestle with, it is the devil's devices that he can get in and then get out. And you say, I don't know why I said that. Oh, what came over me? Why did I do that? Have anybody ever sinned and you said, why did I do that? Because when the devil leaves, you, but you left with the guilt. And the devil, the devil guided you to be guilty, but he ain't gonna help to relieve the guilt. You gotta turn and go back to God. And so what the scripture said in Ephesians is, put the armor on so he don't get in. Amen. Protect yourself with the shield and with the word of God. That's how we fight off the death so he don't get in. So we don't say something we ain't be saying. I could say something right now. You ever held your tongue? And you, and you said, it was Jesus. It was Jesus, thank you. Because <laughs> when you're aware, the devil's, uh-uh, stop, because I'm about to say something. And, and you, can, you can feel like the devil is just, and, and once you feel the devil trying to get in, you say, get out of there. I know what you're trying to do. And, and if you notice, if you come back to that moment and that tension is gone, and you so thankful, thank you. You so thankful you had self-discipline and control. <coughs> and some demons require fasting and prayer. I don't know where you are this evening. Maybe the devil is messing with you. And maybe you got a this kind of situation. You gonna need fasting and prayer to win some battles with the devil. There are some bad, there are some, there are some demonic spirits you can just, you can just knock off. It ain't nothing. But there are some. On a this kind, whereas you and your whole house being attacked by the devils, all of them showing up, and you gonna need to go find a solitude place, get silent, talk to God and say, Lord, we gonna need to talk face to face. Cause I got a situation. And and if by notifying the Lord, the Lord comes down and says, I not only see that demon, but I see all the other demons that's connected. Let me, let me fight. I just need you to protect yourself so he don't get in you. Because if the devil get in, then the Lord has to address you just to get the devil out.